Good morning. It's Friday the 4th of October and uh, I haven't done a gardening video for such a long time. Not that I haven't been gardening. I have. I've been doing a lot of gardening. It's just that uh, a lot of other things in my life are taking over. Um, dancing, music, etc. And I really haven't had time to edit the videos when I've uh, recorded them. So, uh, today I thought I'd just update you all and take you on a little garden tour as I'm going around um, to show you what's been going on. I'm going to start with the runner beans. We've had an incredible amount of runner beans. Um, I've left the last few pods on to save the seed. We've also had um, French beans and my experiment with the carrots of growing them inside um, toilet roll tubes so they don't get any root disturbance has worked a treat. I've had wonderful carrots. Still got a few more left there. Anyway, I'll show you what else has been going on. Right, I've got... Uh, uh, these are Christmas uh, new potatoes. I've got some uh, homemade compost here. That's bagged up, ready to go over to the allotment. I did have all my tomatoes in here, but they got blight, the outdoor ones, so I hoiked those out. Girls are very happy. Um, still got green tomatoes. I've been making tons of green tomato chutney. These now in the greenhouse are starting to get blight as well. We've had amazing cucumbers. Still got cucumbers going on there. Um, rhubarb, of course, is just dying off now. And so we're going to wander over to the allotment and take this uh, compost and show you what's been going on over there. Right, well I've made it over to the allotments and it's quite quiet over here today. It's quite early in the morning still, it's about I don't know, 10 o'clock I think. And uh, so this is the newest part of the plot. We had a bit of a disastrous start because it was so cold and wet, couldn't get anything to germinate. So I've had to put several plantings of uh, brassicas in over there. I'll show you. So I've ended up with some. This is uh, purple sprouting, and I did manage to get some kalets. There's three plants there, and I'm hoping that those three at the back are uh, Brussels sprouts but I can't for the life of me remember I thought they were going to die but uh, they managed to survive I've just put a few odd spare plants in here um, inside the greenhouse I have to put the camera down right I've had a, a good few tomatoes off here but um, these are succumbing to blight now I've got might just take those home, see if they'll ripen at home. These are the uh, gardener's delight. Right. Here, I managed to get all the bushes out. I've now got that's black currant, joster berry, another joster berry, another black currant, and a gooseberry. We've had some lovely globe artichokes off there. Sweet corn was in there, and the. Uh, Asparagus is doing well. Uh, the fennel kind of ran to seed. Uh, I can't remember what brassicas are what. I really can't. Uh, it was because a lot of stuff died early on and I had to just keep on planting other things um, just to use up the space. I think these are calets here too. 
Yes, I think they are. And look at the size of those, sweet. Can you see that? Amazing. Right, excuse me, sniffing. Uh, we've got spinach and spinach and curly kale. More brassicas, which I can't remember what they are. We've got had some nice turnips too. Lovely size. And got some leeks ready for pulling. Yep. So here we've got, uh, this is Jerusalem artichokes. Just leaving those to do their thing. More swede. More huge swede. More spinach. I think, I think those might be Brussels sprouts, possibly. We've got Cavolo Nero. Uh, we've had some lovely beetroot. Still some more spinach in there. We've had peas over here and uh, some more beetroot. So that's the state of play. So what I'm going to do today is uh, just spread the compost over on that uh, new plot which is way over there. Um, and then when I get back home I'll show you what's been going on in the front part of the garden at home. Well I'm back home and I'm just going to take the protective netting off the um, brassica cage and I'll give you a little tour of the front garden then to uh, show you what's been going on here. So, see you in a bit. Okay, that's all the butterfly netting off. Um, originally, in this bed here, um, I had potatoes at the beginning of the season. Um, they got blighted, so I dug them up early and they're in storage in the shed. So we're still eating those. And then I put in uh, purple sprouting, which has done extremely well. Right, here we've got, um, these are pea beans. These are all drying now on the pods. I picked some yesterday for storage. And as the seeds go papery, I'll pick some more. Uh, there was Mange 2 here, that's coming to an end, and this has been very successful. We picked yesterday, so there's not many on the plant, but these beans have been absolutely delicious. So tender. Uh, what were they? French, French climbing beans, but a purple variety. Very prolific. And uh, the herb bed will soon need bit of a trim and we've got some quince on there this is another addition to the garden Alistair's built me a porch for my shed how nice is this so I can do my potting out here, even if it rains. Well, this is only a short video, just to let you know what's going on. I haven't died or anything. I'm still gardening. <laughs> but I just haven't got time to edit videos. Um, so I might do a little update um, in a few months or so. Um, so basically that's it for today. Still got plenty to do out here. Um, I've had two solid days in the garden, yesterday and today, because the weather's been absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's set to rain tomorrow, late tomorrow, I think, on Sunday. So I'm kind of putting everything to bed and um, just I'll just continue to harvest what's there. Stored quite a lot of stuff for the winter. And... Um, 
I'll see you again whenever I do a next video. Bye for now. Just wanted to show off the lovely squash. And there's some uh, pea beans drying. Gorgeous colours in that.